Not the title screen again. <laughs> So how do you do this extra story? So welcome to Feature Connected. This is my very first time playing, of course. I've never played um, Feature Connected. I heard that it's really short. And I also heard that if you like Melia, then you will love this content, this extra story. So I like Melia, so I'm really excited about this. Do I have to, you know, like start from zero again when it comes to extra story? Oh, another title screen. Oh! Okay, it still has the same settings though With my previous one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm nervous. Fingers crossed. I'm not gonna cry <laughs> Today we use our power to fell a god and then seize our destiny The day when we All defeated the, the god is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation, it is vanishing. Kaboom. I'm still a bit confused though with that scene. You know, how did we end up what being are at you space? At? The sea. I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Oh, Melia, Melia, Melia. One year later! Okay, this is a sequel. A direct sequel. I didn't know that. Ah, oh, he's got a different outfit. <sighs> Alka something. There it is. Melia, we're in sight of Alkamoth. Alkamoth, yeah, that's the word. All right, I'm on my way. Her voice changed. Did they change the voice actor for Melia? Because she sounds different. Does she sound different to you? Something's dripping. She'll look sexy. <laughs> Gorgeous music. Oh, Telethia? Music is beautiful. That scene just now reminds me of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. It's like a flying mermaid. Bionis shoulder. Wait, I thought that. No, never mind. Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. Ah, uh, she sounds the same. <laughs> Kinda. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. 
Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Sister Bond, watch out on Roy! I take care of it. Kino handle left side. Got you! Those voices. It's an opon. Uh, are those? Cute. It's Kino and Nene. Who? What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course. Who? Who the hell? Who the hell are Kino and Nene? Oh, Ricky's children. Okay. Some elements of this new adventure are very different from the adventure so far. The new adventure, Shulk has lost his power to see visions. Oh yeah, because there's no more Monado. <laughs> Basically, it's harder. I'm level 60. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, I have no equipment or whatsoever. <laughs> I got no gems! <laughs> no, 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 I don't want Melee to be the leader. I want Shulk. Shulk. Shulk is so much hotter with this outfit. Ah! It. Attack. Wow, the music is totally different. Can they fight though? Ricky and... and No, not Ricky. Nene and... Goddamn. Kino. Kino, Nene, are you hurt? Mama. Meme. <laughs> Meme. <laughs> Meme. <laughs> Mr. Shulk. How very welcome. More is always merrier. She looks cute. How? Oh, I can still use the Monado art. <laughs> Job is good one, Kino. That was amazing, you two. E, you look at how Shulk smiles. Yeah. I'm smitten. Just so. Fitting. For children of here upon Ricky's household. No injuries, Kino. Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Oh, Kino doesn't know her? Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. I love their new outfits, by the way. Where's Fiora? Where's Danban? <laughs> The music. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Uh, about that. Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Oh. Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So... Ah... So that is where the Junks comes in then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? <laughs> me, me, me. Now, now, Kino. Nene, watch Kino with eyes of Rogel. Kino, follow Mr. Shulk from behind and do some sneak peekings. Mama, Sister Pong followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? 
Kino always look up to dead upon. Want to become mighty hero upon too. Rishi! Most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. It's not for to sit upon. Please not scold Nene. What is of Kino only? Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay that. That upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. Oh, you were alone. Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dead upon bring Kino home. Said, here is brother upon. That day, nobody make comment. Everyone except Kino. Yeah, that's so wholesome. Kino, what happy they could say. That why, that why. That may want to become hero upon and repay that to family. You know, really sorry. Kino, you do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. I have a feeling that I'll be needing tissues. <laughs> Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For really? Uh-huh. Oh, Kino must. You really twist wing. But fine. But I'll have to be sidekicks of Kino. <laughs> Kino? It's the other one. word around. Supposed to say it's the other way around. You're the sidekick. I like Kino already. Help. <laughs> so, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. Hmm? It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? That looks us. Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Volcano! It all stopped here! Mahay! This makes me ship Shulk and Melia instead of Shulk and Fiora. This is not right. I'm gonna explore a little bit. Oh, I, I will only have these four characters. No Fiora, no Sharla, no Ryan. I'm gonna love this extra content, probably. Even though I don't know the premise, like, what this extra content is for. Uh, I need to go straight, but do we have anything? B! That was kind of hard though, not gonna lie. I miss Dunban, god damn. Can I craft a gem in this game? Like in this extra content? This music is growing on me, help. I'm gonna destroy them all. Oh, let's uh, check our arts. Ah, these, is, these are rhymes. Actually, Kino is more useful because he's a healer. He's so cute though. It looks like a honeydew. Oh god, fucking damn it. <laughs> Why do you have to do that game? <laughs> Too easy my ass. I'm literally sweating. I hope that Xenoblade 2 is not as hard as this one. I'm not feeling it. I'm not. <laughs> hey, I see a... A crystal. I can't do anything with it. Companions cape. Oh there. Strangers. Oh, hello. Hello? What can I do for you? <laughs> I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alchemoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. 
It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog, Fog King? King. Ooh, we said the same yeah. thing. <laughs> Suddenly showed up in Alchemoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum dum. <laughs> so that's why you call it the Fog King. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home. But that's a dream that won't come to pass. And it already cost too many lives. Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this means we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. <laughs> Gelgar, at your majesty's service. He looks service. sus. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the majesty. Perish the thought, your majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its care. Oh yeah, he's a half-breed. With you, Lady Melia, His as wings our are small. shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. Hmm. I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the Majesty address is burdensome to me. <sighs> but she's an Empress, right? If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind, Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar. We really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> <laughs> to begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Well, Melia may Hence, pass. Lady Melia should not have <laughs> the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, Birdmister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? Oh, he's going to I join the party? I of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Oh, we do! Indeed. We do! 
A great shame. We do lack of strength. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Oh, God damn, Melia. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. Uh... You couldn't stand the machina and thus moved away. Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Racism. Some simply cannot let go so easily. <sighs> Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Ah, uh, Alchemoth. We're close. Alchemoth. You okay? Miss Melly, what's wrong? Is Tummy hurty? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I'm just remembering what we heard at Companion's Cape. I have been mistaken in my thinking. The war is over and peace has been restored. We are rebuilding slowly but steadily. I'd thought that with peace came happiness. Indeed, that even here, people would embrace it with open arms. But the reality is different. Mm. The wounds have not yet fully healed. Quite. Those who lost their home, those seeking the light, those who bear grudges. Though joy for them is still scarce, I thought only of me. But you didn't, not at all. The high end here of Colony 9, actually, everyone who remained. You worked hard for them. You, Dunban, and Atharon led by example, just so that others could smile. Yes, yes, keep on happy hat. The music is so good. But still for a bounce. Kino. Exactly. Before, Kino cried every day. Did not even want to go potty alone. <laughs> what the, what the, why do you bring that up? They're completely irrelevant to discussion. Embarrass Kino, not cheer up, Miss Melly. Agree to disagree. Anyway, cannot abandon hope. That upon's words. Hope. To become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this, it is certain that you will be worthy of that name. You are the hope of the High Entia. Ah! <laughs> You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. That scene got me teary in the eye. This is what we need in the first in the main game. More screen time for Melia. Wait, why can't I? I need a special tool. Shit. Oh, don't push me! This JRPG, Xenoblade in particular, like the gameplay, I'm still not used to this kind of mechanics. This is so much different than any other JRPGs that I've ever played. Ah, Shulk. Does she still like Shulk in this game? Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capsule like this. It is pretty. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, 
who transformed into Telethia back then. Oh no, and don't remind me. Feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then, my father and brother's expectations. Calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. You know, ah, the music. I've been thinking a lot lately about what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look, you have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose to all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? Democracy. What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Uh, hmm? that wish for your happiness. They just want you to be happy. Is he? Right? <sighs> My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. That's what we like about you, Melia. It's just as you say. You're so melancholy. To become the hope of the high end here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear father lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin, but a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land, nay, not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah. If anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. Why are you with Fiora? <laughs> It'll be my pleasure. I'm starting to question this game. Who are they rooting for? Their relationship is way far more interesting than his relationship with Fiora in this game though. Probably because we haven't seen Fiora. Oh my god, deja vu. I've been to this, to this place in the main game. God, my eyes are stinging. Here we are. There's not a lot of side quests in this game so far. What is that red line? Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter, <laughs> over here! Nene, goddamn you. <laughs> huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, I also have a question. Whatever happened to the first consort, you know, the the evil mom. Oh god, the eargasm, the footsteps. We're back in here again. It's abandoned. It looks abandoned. Oh well, duh, because all the high entia turned into telethia. What is it? Look up there. See? Eh? What is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. Who is this Fog King? In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. You haven't seen him yet. Meme? A child's voice. Where? Up there! How could there be someone in here? Oh, by the way, I checked out the soundtrack for the ending. For, for the main game, the ending. It's called Beyond the Sky. Beyond the Sky! Beyond me! <laughs> it's gonna be my wedding song. Going to be my wedding song. Oh my god, what are you? What is that? Is that the Fog King? Hey, 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 hey! The child is in danger. Quickly. Are you all right, child? Wait, Teelan. Who? Oh, Miss Melia. You too, Shock. How? How what the hell? Is Teelan? Doubt that this is the Fog King. There's nothing folky about it. Yeah, it's not a Fog King. Nice. Hey. Nope, not a Fog King. That attacked the junk. What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Yeah, junks. Sorry, with then an that S. Would mean... I, I said junk, not junks. <laughs> so this is the Fog King, huh? He is huge. Like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. Yeah. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. <laughs> Melia, Kino. Leave to me. Eat faithful of pain. Be gone. Well, it's gone. Whoops. Just as Max has said then. Melia, let's pull back. That would seem wise. What are you doing though? Oh. 
Nice one. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. I snuck in to gather research material. But then I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah, I was given special permission, so I could conduct my research. That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister? Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back? Yeah. Oh, hey! So I guess that this My boy was in the main game, but I just missed it. You want to come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. We still don't understand the Fog King or the monster that attacked Teelan. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. Teelan's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Ah, oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so the name seemed appropriate. Wait, they are two separate Makes things? Sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. Fog King or Fog Beast? You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. Alright, see you! Hey, wait! What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Oh, come on, Melia. Huh? Cut him some slack. He get told. He probably has it coming. Thrice damned fools. Excuse me. They think to second guess the will of the divine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, it's starting to get juicy. <laughs> wow, it's a long ass way. Oh my god. Just want to tell me. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the thing. Ah! I pressed too soon. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shit. This is new. Ah, uh, that was Union Strike. Okay. How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But... I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? Mm. If something happened to mm. you, we would lose everything. Mm. <sighs> this woman! Tyrea? The one who tried to kill Melia! Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your... big sis. Wait, why didn't she turn into Telethia, though? She's a pure breed, right? Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Oh, sorry. But her wings are so huge. I thought that she's a sorry pure breed. Trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea, I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it.
I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? You tried to kill her. Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Wait, do they share the hmm. same brother? What? Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? How did I miss that? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... Evil. <laughs> but probably for she a reason. Strong, both in body and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. That's a great wow. way to put it. Pretty much the same as how she is now then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Huh? Before the Fog King showed up. Yeah, and then after we all escaped, I was kind of on my own. So Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Tilan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Tilan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too. Kino, please read room. <laughs> I don't know why that one got me. <laughs> of all the people to meet out here, how did you? Pure chance. After everything, I I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia, and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it, or so I thought. Until fate had me save Tilan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother, she did not grant you a dying place. She gave you a future by crossing your path with Tilan's. My helping with Tilan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Tilan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The crown princess, war or no war? No. Empress now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia. So you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. This dude's sus. 
Uh, she wasn't at the capital because she was saving Tilin, I guess. That, that's my assumption. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Is she a half Homs or is she a pure breed? Because her wings are so huge. Uh, okay, so she's half Homs and the father is a Homs. Okay. So the father is not was not the emperor then. Melee is such a tragic character in my opinion. Like she's lost everything. This game is mean. This game is being so mean to Melia. Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radzim lives within these walls. Ah, oh, friends of Teelan's, are you? Yeah. We've been expecting you. Go on. In you get. Are you perchance Radzim? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Teelan mentioned He's the you. only Machina here, You are huh? his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Teelan sent you. Radzim, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Huh? Ether field? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now, the Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. Okay. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there to feed on the ether. And as a result, keep the threat contained. Ah. Got oh, you. This hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. <laughs> but my ether, it worked against fog beasts, but not the fog king. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Tilin's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. What is happening over there? Eh, what are you looking at? They're possessed. They're being possessed. I think. I don't know. Miss Melly, look ahead. I guess we have to fight them. The fog. The fog. <laughs> the fog. God, I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, nice. Shulk. The fog beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. How do we get rid of that rift? Why the Anru? Oh no, Grandel! Oh. What? What is matter? The Armus could turn into fog beasts. Meh meh! No one to picture that! Must hurry to rescue! Huh? And Grandel seems fine. Uh, no, it does not. It does not. I take that back. <laughs> run, run. Everybody the run. It was right, Melia. Yes. Although the rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Oh, so even the rift being that far, they Ratson, are you it fine? can affect every armrus. These armors. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right, you are. Should be easy, right? <laughs> what was that? Oh, we're kind of OP. Yay. Was everyone all right? Yeah. 
No major injuries to speak of? All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as rewards. Sweet wasabi? There's such thing as sweet wasabi? We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. We must find Everyone is fogged. <laughs> we'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. You see, okay, though. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, why did you do that to me? What do you want? Oh, is this stand is this dude? Is this dude of a new mm. age dawning? Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Who is this guy? Why is his motive? We did that. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Oh, fuck you. Elgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. What? Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? Of course! You know, you struggle to revive what is long buried. The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. We're fighting him now? I have a feeling that he's got like a traumatic past, which makes him, you know, think this way. Okay, Gelgar, I'm gonna kill you. Yes. I, 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 you're dead. I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not. God, your eyes are. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! Miss Melia! No! Idiot! <gasps> Uh, the crown is mine now. Talon, big says hell. Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end. <laughs> Are you okay, Talon? I really thought that he was going to die. Holy shit! Telethia here. He's doing the Sharla thing, the ether something. I forgot what it's called. Melia! Miss Melia! Kino, you did it! 
what floors? Where? We're in Redsom's house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the High Endia? And bringing our brethren back home with those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet, ultimately it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome? We found it in the tomb? Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan, Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes, thank you. What that for? Can I use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, it's not going to fly. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her, she figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. Is she going to join the party? All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. <clears throat> That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Teletia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Teletia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. What? Monado? In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Wait, where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm not so sure. Am I supposed to go down there, but how? Okay, I'm going here. Oh my god, this place looks so creepy. This place looks so creepy. Oh, so we need to go through that cave? No? Oh no. Eh, fuck beast. Don't turn around. Don't turn around! <laughs> Foggy, turn around! I hate these nebulas. I don't want to fight them. Why are we attacking the nebula? Oh my god, that was so cool. What was that? Oh, uh, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. I think. Oh, is this cavern? Quarry colonnade. Nene will 
Wait until Miss Melia make dreams of everyone mushed together as one. But if dream of Miss Melia not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will... Nene will... Nene will give vicious spanking! <laughs> and no one's spared, even not Mr. Shulk! What? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. Shulk agreed! To get spanked! Does Shulk have a booty though? He doesn't! Oh my god, this one is creepy and huge and strong. <laughs> Why did you have to turn around? Hey, hey, Melia time! Did he say eat my ball? He did say that, right? And hello, you. I can't do anything with it though. I need a special tool? How? What tool do I need? What the heck? Oh, do I need to go back here? So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Ransom, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through. Uh. If only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha. We're here to help. This rabble won't stand a chance. Not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. Dear. You go no further. Yeah. Please, but life is no use. Keen will make you full of holes. <laughs> And Nene teach you better manners. Let's go. Uh uh. They're so aggressive. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So much is happening. Yes. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Ratson. I'll be right here, trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. Just go before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Don't you die. Oh my god. What? Impossible. More already. If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me. You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold. Oh my God! If she's going anyway. to sacrifice herself, I can't. This is our last chance to enlist the companion's aid. Don't die. Come on, we make for the companion's cape. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go down there. Okay, companion's cape. Hey! Uh oh. Maxis, we're sitting ducks here. Uh, I'm aware. Death. Where did these bastards come from? <laughs> what the? It's us. Gonna fight them. Um, this one's easy. We beat them in the cave. Be okay, I take that back. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Mom! They just call her mom! <laughs> Please don't die, Tyria. I know that I didn't like you in the main game, but I started to... But I'm starting to like you now. A little bit. <laughs> They're all just... gone. What? But how? Because we beat them! How are you? 
all well? Y yeah. What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Okay. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Yeah. Indeed. Then you must know why that's not an option. What if I said Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? That's a great are one. Safe? Yes, for the time being, but not for much longer. What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons, but you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. Hmm. Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... left them for dead. How could we possibly... It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. True, true. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <coughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. Yay! I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? Come on. <sighs> You're damn good. All right, I mean. We need to go back to Grandel. <laughs> that scared me. What the hell? This little spoiled princess brat. What? I mean, we brought. We brought them back though. So far. Damn! A bunch of new hostiles closing in. I guess the lot from the cape really left us for dead. Miss Tarea! No, they're coming, I promise. Not just yet. Stand firm. Believe in our brethren. Believe in your new leader. Did she just say that? Believe in Melia! Ah! When you see me fall, abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Del. Oh no, please don't die. I swear to God. I was just starting to like you. He kept us waiting. You big jerk. <laughs> yeah! Lady Melia! Back. Holy shit. And it looks like you brought the companions with her. Let's clear a path. Ah, uh, lay it up. Nice. Maxis. Thank you. Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Aww. Truce. Why does she always look grumpy? Smile. Are you looking for Tyrael? She go back after healing. 
cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was <laughs> exact words. <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. <laughs> Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No, you have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. Well, he didn't catch her name. I don't remember. He, Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... Your... Your Highness is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? <laughs> Impudence. This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Mm. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel. Ah, uh, the flashback from the main but game. Thanks. Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. True. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. It's ready. Ha! Huh? Well, it's not changed much. Well, it was more of a tweak. Finally come time for denouement. What? These are fucking numbered! Yeah, I bet that there's going to be some twist. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But, how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Oh, clever. Except... The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. But what about the other people, though, that, was that... that were inside? They were trapped, too. I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? Oh. Okay, we need to go to Alchemoth, which is the main entrance. Wait, what the heck is that? Like, there's something glowing. Is that the nebula? No, I'm not going to fight you. Fuck the nebula. Oh, I remember that this used to be- This is an elevator. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not the fuck, king. <gasps> we almost reached our destination. I'm scared. Oh my god. Is this where the- f <gasps> Past this point, you will not be able to go back or save the game, and falling battle will return you to the title screen. What?! Oh my god. Is this the end game? <sighs> Let's go. There it is. Is that? King of Fog, right here. Fucking looking awfully foggy today. <laughs> I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Can we hurt him though? Oh, I think we can. 
О. I think we can hurt him now. Ooh, ooh. He's fast as lightning. Holy shit. Yay! We hit him! Miss Melly! It's working! Yes, now then. Melia, let's go! <laughs> My friends, lend me your strength. The future belongs to us! King of Folk will know name of Hero Born Hero! Monster in the proper bashing! Um. This reminds me of Zanza. We don't know what level he is at. Shit. That's it? There's no way. That couldn't be it. What's wrong? The sky. There must be a twist somewhere. The rift is expanding. Mama, something not right. Foggy floppies are coming together. Huh? Hey. It must be drawing its strength from the rift. And now it's even bigger. Yeah. So what do we do? In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. How do we close the rift? But first, let's do all that we can here. You're right. This is all over Kino's head. What does Hero Born fight against impossible odds is natural like breathing. Fine then. Time to dish out extra medicine and fishy fancy cherry on top. <laughs> Nana Kino, you're the best! Oh, I think I need to kill these first. Why are the Telethia flying to the rift? I'll see why, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, where are you? Where the hell is he? He keeps circling around! Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. There you go. Dead, please. Please be dead. Yes. No use. It keep happening. What are we supposed to do now? Don't give up. No matter how many times it returns, we can bring it down just the same. It'll be endless, though. Reason. Those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. They're trying to close the rift. They're trying to help us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time. Hmm. Because they're still they still have the heart of the high entia. Oh, That's kind of sad. <laughs> Nene, you're gonna make me laugh. <laughs> Kino, just stop! <laughs> Grant me your strength, friends. Oh, Nene, nice.
Amazing. Did we kill it? Is this the end game? Nain, are you okay? Oh. The future is safe. Finally. It is. Well, I should have captured that. I should have taken a photo right there. The song. He was about to cry. <laughs> The music is gonna make me cry, holy shit. Don't tell me that it's over. Oh. <laughs> that last shot was really beautiful. Oh, look at them! Fiora, Dunban, they're Charlene Ryan! They're back at Colony 9! I'm just trying to. <laughs> Take it all in with the music. Uh, Fiora is keeping her hair cut, just as she said. <laughs> I got teary. <laughs> Because I'm happy and sad at the same time. Ah, oh, everyone is here! They're waiting for you, Melia. Does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know. Empress Melia. Don't mock me. <laughs> Here we go. Yes.
That was great. I mean, it's not as great as the main game, but I don't think that it's fair to compare an extra content to like a huge main game. I'm really glad that this extra content exists. Because Melia truly deserves that ending. She really did. She truly deserved that ending. <sighs> this is by on his shoulder, huh? And Alchemoth right there. This is it! We're finally saying goodbye to Xenoblade. Chronicles. Definitive edition. Thank you, Monolith Soft. She definitely needed that closure. She truly deserved that kind of ending. Because she's definitely the most tragic character in my opinion she went through so much she lost everything she lost everyone and to have tyria by her side now i mean i'm happy for her why people don't talk about this game often why don't people talk about this game was it promoted poorly did it have like a poor marketing never seen a single tweet tweet hyping for xenoblade never Except for Xenoblade 3, there was quite a lot of hype. But not that much of hype like a Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth hype. Or a God of War Ragnarok hype. When, when this came out, everybody was like, no. Nah. <laughs> it was quiet, y'all. It was quiet. So quiet. Now what do we do? We're done with the game. I feel hollowed.